Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite drugstore foundation. All of the foundations that I'll be showing you in this video could be used for either young skin, very young skin, mature or very mature skin. So they are an amazing drugstore foundations. I have purchased them repurchase them million times different colors. Today's video is super duper exciting for me because I absolutely love all of these foundations. I'm gonna start off by telling you that I have more of a combination skin, more on the normal side everywhere except my T-zone. It does get pretty oily throughout the day, especially on the summertime. It does not really bother me. I do like to do a couple little touch-ups throughout the day, so it's not that big of a deal. All all of the foundations that I'll show you in this video work really well with my combination skin. I also have more of a mature skin. I do have fine lines and I do have some wrinkles. I'm almost 40 years old. So if you're around my age, this is a perfect foundation for you guys. Let's start off with the first one and how this video gonna go. I'm gonna show you the product and then I'm actually gonna show you the application of the product. So there's gonna be a lot of extra random footage. So the first one is from L'Oreal and it's a true match, a super blendable foundation. I got this foundation in a color N4 and it's neutral, a light, medium. I'm obsessed with L'Oreal foundations. We've used them for the last 20 years, maybe even a little longer. They work so well with my skin personally and I've never really had a foundation, L'Oreal foundation, that didn't work. So this one is so perfect. As you can see, I actually had to open it uh, because I have absolutely no foundation left. This foundation I've repurchased at least four to five times, so I absolutely love it. Let me show you the footage now of the foundation and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it as well. This foundation comes in a vegan formula with an easy to use pump. Same hydrating formula, same natural looking results. Is made for up to six pigments for most precise match. It adapts to any skin color and texture. It locks in moisture. Available in 47 through to skin shades and suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. This foundation retails around $14, depending on where you're purchasing. The vegan formula is alcohol-free, oil-free, fragrance-free, and non-comedogenic. As you can see, this foundation has this beautiful natural finish. It covers all of the imperfections. It doesn't dry out my skin. I can wear it all day without drying it out. It doesn't really crease in my fine lines and wrinkles. It does get a little oily in my T-zone, but overall just absolutely gorgeous very beautiful foundation tons of different shades and i feel like this shade looks very beautiful i could have went with a little lighter color i would give this foundation 10 out of 10 perfect for any skin type if you have very young beautiful skin it looks absolutely gorgeous it gives that natural radiance if you do have a little more mature skin it as i already mentioned it doesn't crease in fine lines and it looks beautiful throughout the day the next one and of course it's another l'oreal foundation just a different one and it's true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum so this foundation works perfectly for mature very mature skin as i already mentioned most of these foundations will be for any skin type any age range so you don't really have to worry about that i got it in the color 4 slash 5 medium it does include one percent hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is perfect to give your skin a lot of hydration and kind of lock in that hydration as well so let me show you the footage how i'm applying it and how it looks. This is the first tinted serum with 1% hyaluronic acid. This hybrid innovation blends makeup and skincare, which gives skin hydrated feel and smooth over time. It's available in 14 nude radiant shades that blends to match 
a range of skin tones. This foundation, first of its kind, luminous mineral pigments provide sheer radiant coverage, while hyaluronic acid brings hydration. I tend to use this foundation on a daily basis. I absolutely love the glow that this foundation gives to my skin. I really like the idea of hyaluronic acid. At this point of my life, I really care a lot about the skincare, and I tend to use makeup that includes skincare. It's two benefits in one. It gives you the benefits of the skincare, but it also covering all of the imperfections. As you can see on the video, this foundation looks so gorgeous on my skin. It does cover imperfections. My skin stays hydrated throughout the day. And that's probably the reason why I just tend to use this foundation quite a bit more on a daily basis. I have repurchased this foundation, have no idea how many times. And this is 10 out of 10 for sure, 100%. The next one will be from Revlon and it's Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. I got it in the color 317. As you can see, another foundation that does contain skincare as well. Absolutely love hyaluronic acid on a daily basis. And 5% squalene is amazing. This is another makeup and skincare. Get the benefits of makeup and skincare in one with Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. It looks naturally radiant and you'll see smoother skin over time. Some of the benefits would be boost skin radiance, increases skin elasticity in four weeks, reduces appearance of skin roughness in four weeks. It's made without parabens, phthalates, and synthetic fragrances. It's medium coverage and available in 28 buildable shades. I'm actually wearing this foundation today, so I can show you how this foundation looks with the rest of the makeup. This is very beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. It does give the radiance, it does give the glow. It looks very natural, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. The fact that it contains hyaluronic acid and 5% squalene, this is just perfect. If I use this foundation on a daily basis, I can see a little bit of those changes in my my overall skin. I really like overall look. It also gets a little oily on my T-zone and it does crease in certain spots and after a while wearing this foundation, I can see a little bit of that smearing throughout the face as well, but overall is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The next one, and this is a last foundation, and it's Revlon Photo Ready Candid. I got it in the color 350. It is quite dark shade for my skin tone right now. In this foundation, I've purchased two different shades and I mix and match them. On summertime, it looked really good. I didn't really have any problems, but I haven't been tanning for a minute right now, and it is a little darker shade than I would like it. Out of all of the foundations, this foundation gives the most matte finish. It's not as radiant as the rest of the foundations, but on special occasions, I absolutely love this foundation when I need a little bit more coverage and I need my makeup to look perfect throughout the day. It doesn't really crease in fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't get oily on my T-zone whatsoever, but wearing this foundation all a day does give that feeling of a little bit of tightness, I would say. Nothing uncomfortable, but compared to this one, this is very radiant, very glowing, and this one more on the matte side. So if you want the foundation more on the medium coverage with matte finish, not super crazy matte. I cannot stand super matte foundations. So this is as much as my skin can tolerate. This foundation has smooth, creamy, comfortable, and lightweight texture with natural finish. It's medium coverage that's buildable. You can use fingers or brush to blend the foundation. Shields against environmental damage, including anti-pollution and antioxidants. It's parabens free and phthalates free. It does have matte finish, and it says recommended skin type would be combination.
As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this foundation. I do really prefer this foundation on the summertime when I know I'm gonna get a little more sweaty and a little more oily. Not so much on the winter time. I feel like it dries out my skin just a little bit. I would give this foundation an eight, just like I did with another Revlon foundation. Uh, I'm just not a matte finish foundation, but for super special occasions where I want my skin to look really pretty throughout the day. I don't want my makeup to be budging. I don't want to be getting too oily in my T-zone. I will use this foundation. If you do have a little bit more fine lines and wrinkles, I don't really think it will work for you super well unless you have more of a combination to oily skin, then it probably will look really good. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I absolutely love all of the foundations that I have showed you today. I have purchased them, repurchased them so many times, and I will continue repurchasing them as well. They all range between 10 and $15, so it's very affordable. I love to use them on a daily basis. I don't really like to spend too much money on the foundations unless it's very special foundations. But overall drugstore foundation nowadays include the skincare. They are very gorgeous. They are very wearable. They give you that natural, beautiful glow and you don't always have to go for super expensive foundations just my personal opinion. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for my weekly videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.